Hi, it's Robert with uh, Century 21 Bundesen, and we're here today with Nick Brasco with Ray's Pump a Well. And hey, Nick, come on over. Nick, how you doing? Good, Robert. Yeah. Nice All to right. see you. All right. So anyway, Nick, you're gonna um, just kind of tell us a couple minutes about what you do for a well test and how it's done. I'm gonna go over there and work the camera. Okay. You tell us. You just tell me what you want us to look at and uh, point it out and explain to everybody. Okay. All right. So today is August 1st and we're doing a dry weather test for determining the water well production of a well for a real estate transaction. We're doing a two hour production test to determine the recharge rate of the well using a water level sensor and a water meter. So basically in an, in an inspection what we do is we pump the well for two hours, we determine the condition of the pump equipment, we determine the condition of the bladder tank the electrical, the plumbing, and the filters. And we also run the well for two hours to determine the production of the well at the, on this date. So if you take a look here, this is the water meter representing how many gallons we're pumping from the well at any given minute. So that's measuring the rate at which we pump the well. This dirty device <laughs> is a sensor that goes down the well to determine the water level. So the idea of a two-hour test is to draw the water level down, stabilize the pumping rate so that we can determine the rate at which the well is recharging. So over here is the discharge from the well, and this is where we can monitor this is where we can monitor the clarity of the water, whether or not the well is discharging sand. Uh, we could look for heavy minerals like iron or manganese. Um, what, things that we can't see in the water, we test for contaminants such as bacteria. We generally do an arsenic test, nitrates, and also minerals, which include hardness, pH, alkalinity, total dissolved solids, iron, and manganese. So those all overall give us the idea of the general aesthetics of the water and whether or not it will stain the faucets, fixtures, uh, dishwasher, make sure that it's all kosher for the use inside the house without filters. So on this particular system, the filters are bypassed, um, but they added an ultraviolet light, which you won't be able to see from the camera, but they added a UV system hey, we can to go sterilize. We'll go yeah. Okay, here it is. I'll try to put it out here. Just tell what it is. I'm squeezing here. Okay, can you, can you get that right here? So yeah. This this unit is an ultraviolet light which sterilizes the water for bacteria. Um, so what those blue little things there, those, like little tubes, canisters, is that the actual filters? This one is, is the one that houses the UV light bulb. And this one houses a cartridge filter which removes uh, the heavy minerals from the water so that they don't interfere with the UV light's ability to, to penetrate the water and therefore purify it. So that does more than more than just bacteria, or just bacteria? It kills it kills coliform bacteria, and it removes heavy minerals from the water. There may still be dissolved minerals in the water, but it removes particulates. So that what may would that be like? What? So iron particulates, sand, sediment, okay. uh, some manganese. It's not a. It, it doesn't remove dissolved minerals in the water, but it does remove uh, any any. Uh, chunks of iron or manganese or, or sand particulates. Okay. <clears throat> so this over here, this is the pump. This is the okay. uh, the pump that's drawing water from the well. Okay. And this is now the pump is above the well, but is outside of the well, right? Yeah. This it's not a submersible pump. Correct. There's two main styles of pumps. This is called a jet pump. A jet pump is a surface-mounted pump which draws water uh, out of the well. Uh, using a suction pipe. Uh, in this case, it's a deep well jet pump which uses two suction pipes um, and an assembly at the bottom of the well called a jet. Um, the other style of pump is a submersible pump which actually goes down in the well and pumps the water up and out of the well. Okay. So a submersible style of pump this day and age is a more common type of pump. But the pump you see here, the surface mounted jet pump, we do come across these quite often. Uh, this tank here, you back up. This is a this is the pressure tank. 
back I have. So this is the, the bladder tank, and what this does is uh, acts as a cushion for the pump that that's drawing the water from the well that we just explained. It pumps water into this tank, which has a bladder inside of it, and above the bladder is a precharge of air that when the pump's not running, that precharge of air and the bladder work together to pressurize the house with water. So, okay. in other words, if you're filling up just a glass of water, uh, this will provide water pressure between pump cycles and, it, and therefore um, conserves energy by causing fewer starts and fewer cycles for the pump. Okay. So this is another piece of equipment that we inspect uh, because okay. at times the, the bladder inside the tank can fail. Okay. So and, that, and that's an old, that one on the left there, what, that's an old filter That's something? an old media filter. Probably sand um, to remove iron and manganese. Um, water softeners are more common. W with water softeners, you'll see a separate tank from that called a brine tank, which is the salt tank. Because the water softener uses right. salt uh, to regenerate after it's collected the calcium and, ma and magnesium inside of the, the filter bed. Okay. So Nick, tell us a little about you real quick. About your little company, about your, yeah, your background. Well testing. Okay. Uh, you can just call me Ray. Robert, dub that song in later. Yeah. A lot of people tell me there's a song called You Can Call Me Ray. Anyways, I bought Ray's <laughs> well testing business. Uh, I kept the name for, not because I'm hiding anything, but just because of the brand recognition and, and of Ray's good reputation. So, um, before that I worked for a company in the Napa Valley called Inboden Pump Service where I got my expertise in working with water well pump systems and uh, the rest is all is all history. Okay. All right. So, and, how, and how do you get hold of you? What's your phone number or website? Phone number or? is 707-823-3191. And my website is simple. It's just raisewelltesting.com. Awesome. And you can also Google Raise Well Testing. I'm sure it'll pop up there. Uh, and be sure, if you've used me, to go on Yelp and give me a review. Yeah. Those help. Yeah. Yelp helps. Yelp helps. Okay. Okay. So it's back to us now. All right. That, that's it. If we have any more information, we'll give it to you later. Otherwise, you can buy the DVD. It's only $20. Not really. <laughs> well, maybe. Okay. We'll try not to fall in the well so we can be available to, to do your well test. All right. Adios.